bonds are doing a little bit of work on fractions right now. Fractions are really super important for So with the participants, the goal has been to create a, a public setting where teaching is occurring to create a kind of conversation about teaching that usually doesn't happen any place in this country because we all teach behind closed doors. It was the first time we'd had sixth graders and we had a nice big class, which is what we want, um, of kids who came every day and it was wonderful. And we worked on some new content this year with them, so there were a lot of new things for us to be trying and learning. I've been learning a lot of stuff I had not known and a lot of stuff I did know. This professional development um, is different than anything I've ever experienced because it directly impacts the way that I come out teaching. I think it's definitely been able to open my eyes and just get asking myself questions about what I consider myself and like what I consider my own teaching practice to be. Probably the mini computer. That's been very fun to me because we can have fun while doing math. So what grounds this is that we're all looking at the same children day after day, the same mathematics, the same content, the same teaching. And my goal is for them not to be coming thinking they're seeing you know, some expert teacher and they're supposed to walk away and just imitate what I'm doing. It's actually to create what we call a lab. Once you get something over here, you're gonna, I think you guys can do fine. Well, I've learned how um, kids are able to think about math in other ways. Um, normally we uh, teach kids with the pen and paper and uh, uh, the computation of math, but how Dr. Ball looks at it is, is, is from a uh, perspective of thinking about math. How does the math actually work uh, mentally? I also saw really engaged teachers, professionals, in deep conversation both before and after today's lesson about the practice of teaching. I, I could say something and see, watch it unfold in the math lab. So this, the validation to what I had to say was important. So if you go one to one, the one of them go right there. There you go. All right, so you got all the numbers. Where's the, what's the last one? I think I might have like a better year because I'm probably going to be ending up in a math class where I'm going to have to do a lot of math, like algebra. So I'll learn more stuff once I get in sixth grade. And that, to me, was like a highlight. Anytime I could reach, to me, that invisible kid who didn't have a voice, who wasn't participating, those math moves helped me reach out. To see teachers that are you know, still coming here being 10, 15, 20 years into a teaching career is pretty inspiring. We really, really want children's learning in this country to improve. And although many policymakers think the solutions lie in all kinds of other strategies, it really is the case that good teaching makes an enormous difference for children and as you probably saw the slogan of Teaching Works is great teachers aren't born they're taught and that Teaching Works that is our mission to uh, work on improving the curriculum and training and assessment of teaching in this country.